السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دس می عاقب افضل ایفسٹی آ اسٹوڈنٹ ایٹ فیکلٹی آف ویٹنری سائنس اینڈ اینمل ہسبینڈری اسکاس کشمیر آئی ہیڈ ریسیو منی کیوریز اینڈ میسیج فرام دا اسٹوڈنٹس دیٹ ہاؤ وی کین ٹیکل آل دا تھری سبجیکٹس فزکس کیمسٹری اینڈ بایولوجی ان ڈیٹیل فار دا اسکاس ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی فائیو اینڈ نیٹ بوتھ سو ان دس ریگارڈ آئی ہیو مینیجڈ دا تھری سیپریٹ ویڈیوز فار آل دا تھری سبجیکٹس سو لیٹس بگن وتھ کیمسٹری ٹوڈے First, uh, you have to understand the exam pattern and the syllabus. As you know that the, in chemistry portion, 45 questions are asked and each question carries the one mark. And remember that there is no negative marking in SCOS TAT. And the chemistry has a multiple choice questions, that is the MCQs. The syllabus is based on the NCRTs of the class 11th and class 12th chemistry. As we all know that the paper is divided into the physical portion, organic portion and inorganic portion. So scoring strategy remains like physical in physical chemistry 30 to 35 percent for organic chemistry it's like 35 to 40 percent and for the inorganic chemistry it's like 25 to 30 per- um, percent so majority of the questions are asked from the organic portion then following the physical chemistry portion and then following the inorganic portion so next is that what books you should consult for your preparation so the primary books as you all know that are the ncrts of the class 11th and the class 12th that are the main source and mtg ncrt finger tips you can refer for the question practicing as the direct ncrt based questions are there for the extra practice you can consult for physical chemistry that is n avasti and rc mukherji for the numericals and for the organic chemistry you can consult that ms chohan for the reaction mechanisms and the mcqs and for the inorganic chemistry you can consult vk jaiswal for ncrt based questions and uh, importantly you will solve the pyqs of the neat as well as the scost k and you can further use the allen akash modules for additional practices next is that what should be your uh, the strategies for the physical organic and inorganic portion for physical chemistry as you all know that the formula and numerical based questions are asked so the important topics so far the questions are asked from the physical chemistry are mole concept and the stoichiometry thermodynamics and the thermochemistry chemical equilibrium and the ionic equilibrium electrochemistry solutions and their colligative properties chemical kinetics and the atomic structure so what you will do you will understand the theory from the ncrt before solving any problems then you will memorize all the formulas and practice the derivations i will suggest you to make a separate chart uh, for the, all the formulas of the physical chemistry then you have to solve 10 to 15 numerical daily from each chapter use tricks and shortcuts for the quick calculations as i already told you that numericals are been asked from this portion you can solve the need pyqs and identify the repeated patterns next for the organic chemistry you have to like understand the concepts reactions and mechanisms as you will expect these questions from this portion so the important topics from which the questions are so far asked in the organic portion are first one is you all will be knowing is the general organic chemistry is highly highly and highly important i suggest you to go through this chapter very in, in depth next that is the isomerism both structural and the stereochemistry hydrocarbons alkenes alkenes and alkynes alkyne and aryl halides alcohol phenols and ethers aldehydes and ketones carboxylic acids and, der- and derivatives biomolecules and the polymers so these are basically some chapters of the organic chemistry or the topics from which questions are asked so far i have mentioned some deleted chapters here also because uh, this year the questions were asked from the deleted chapters also so until the syllabus won't come from this cost you have to keep hold on the deleted chapters also next is that how you will uh, start the uh, organic chemistry you will start first with the goc that's the general organic chemistry as it is the foundation you have to memorize all the named reactions in the ncrts like the aldol reactions kenizaro's reactions sandmeyer's reactions gutterman quasi synthesis etc i will suggest you to make a separate chart for all the naming reactions and their reagents and you have to understand the mechanisms don't you don't only have to memorize the reactions but you mandatory have to understand their mechanisms also learn the reaction conditions and reagents and you have to make a chart for the quick reaction as i already told you then you have to practice the need pyqs and give the mock tests regularly for the inorganic chemistry a memory based and um, you have to be like uh, focused on the ncrt as only the ncrt based questions are asked you can expect the direct lines of the ncrts from this portion so the important topics in the inorganic chemistry are like periodic table and the periodic properties chemical bonding and the molecular bonding coordination compounds p block d and f block elements metallurgy hydrogen and s block environmental chemistry and chemistry in everyday life uh, also i have uh, here mentioned the deleted chapters because this year in scos 2024 questions were asked from the deleted portions also now 
the strategy like you have to read the ncrt line by line as 90 percent of the questions come from the ncrt from the direct lines and you have to make the short notes and you have to highlight the key trends and the exceptions as the exceptions are very 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 commonly asked in this portion so you have to memorize the periodic table trends like the electronegativity atomic size and the ionization energy along the periods and down the groups moreover you have to solve the ncrt back exercise and the exemplar problems as uh, many a times questions are asked from that in that portion also and you have to re uh, revise this uh, subject or this portion very regularly because it is a memory based if you won't revise it all you will forget all what you had studied in this portion next is that the what is the best revision strategy for the chemistry so you have to revise the daily you have to manage 2.5 hour daily to chemistry every day to uh, do the revisions of the chemistry and you have to make the charts and tables of the reagent reactions periodic trends so the data which you forgot uh, or which is volatile in nature you have to make a charts and tables for that data and you have to practice the need pyqs regularly and give full mock tests weekly so for the last one month you have to only revise and give mock tests so last uh, few months strategy before the exam like you have to revise the ncrt two to three times before appearing the examination and you have to solve at least 30 full length mock tests so focus on the error analysis identify your mistakes and improve if you are lagging at any portion, just make that strong. Prioritize high weightage chapter or the topics first. Stay calm and confident. Next is that exam day strategy for the chemistry. You, ha you If you will follow this, you can solve the many questions like you have to uh, start with the inorganic chemistry as it's easy and the fact based. Then you can attempt the organic chemistry like uh, reaction mechanisms are asked. Attempt You can attempt the physical chemistry at last because the numericals are asked from this portion that, and they take little uh, more time than uh, that of the inorganic or the organic chemistry and you have to manage the time wisely like uh, wisely like don't uh, waste too much time on a one question if anybody if any one question is not uh, getting solved you can further move to next question and in this way you can attempt 40 plus questions correctly then there is the final tips to score 40 plus question in the chemistry like stick to ncrt's read ncrt thoroughly solve at least 10 years need pyqs Use flashcards and mnemonics for the memory based topics, mainly the organic and inorganic chemistry. And you have to revise daily, never skip the revision, stay consistent and practice regularly. So this was all for the chemistry. Hope you liked the video. Kindly subscribe. Thank you so much.